What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake. And today, we're going to be taking a look at a new tactical shooter that was just announced uh, that is really close to my heart uh, and that I definitely think you should be paying attention to. Welcome to the game Zero Hour. And this has been announced on Steam, so if you want to go wishlist it now, you can. It will be available in August. Uh, but the reason that this game is close to my heart is this is actually in development uh, by a good friend of mine. Uh, he is a developer that has helped us with our own projects, and he has a game development studio in a real non-typical part of the world to have a game studio in. This is from a game studio out of Bangladesh. Um, and I've been really impressed with how far they've been able to get. Uh, and, and not to say that there isn't more improvement to be made to this game uh, or more that they can do, but the distance that they've been able to get, I don't know, it's been really, it's been really inspiring. Um, Mayor Raj, you've been doing incredible work, man. It's, it's really cool to see what you and your guys have been able to accomplish. Um, and I'm really excited to see how much further you can go. Uh, but let's get into the nitty gritty. Now, if you want to actually get a copy of this game, they've been nice enough. There is a hundred copies that I can give away to our Patreon supporters. So if you want to support us on Patreon at the $15 or higher tier, not only will you get a key to our game Operation Harsh Doorstop and Warfare 1944 and Iron Armada, but for the next 100 keys, you can also get a key for zero hour. Um, now, Here's the thing about Zero Hour. There has been a lot of SWAT-style tactical games that have been announced uh, this year, or last year, or whatever. I mean, however in past many years, you've got um, all sorts of different games that have had a lot of hype. Uh, some of them have been particularly disappointing to that hype, at least so far. Uh, well, I mean, we'll see where they go, but there's a lot of people who've been really frustrated because we all want a tactical shooter um, that is kind of like SWAT-based, um, but we want it to be, you know, like we want it to be, to be good. Um, and we want it to have the kind of gameplay that we would expect from a SWAT-based tactical shooter. And Zero Hour is another entry into that, uh, that catalog, into that, that running. Because as of yet, I, I haven't really been able to see anybody pull it off completely. Now, there is Rainbow Six Siege, but honestly, and I think I've made a video about this before, Rainbow Six Siege is a live service game, uh, which means that it's constantly going to be changing. And the first versions of Rainbow Six Siege aren't even available to be played anymore. All right, let's see here. I've got to do better on this trial. Um, you can't even play the initial versions of Rainbow Six Siege, which is really frustrating because I'm actually not a big fan of the newer versions of Rainbow Six Siege. Um, they've added in a whole bunch of mechanics and really weird characters that are kind of undermining the original super tactical and serious uh, a kind of like theme of the game and now this Rainbow Six Siege has gotten a little bit goofy a little bit weird it doesn't feel like it used to where it was really focused on serious uh, thematic elements of like SWAT versus terrorists now it seems a little bit almost science fiction-y or kind of like overwatchy it's way more colorful and vibrant which yeah I guess like that's cool in some cases but it's not really what I want from a SWAT based tactical shooter and there's been other games that have been announced. There's a game like Ground Branch, although I think Ground Branch is kind of in uh, a different running. There's the game Ready or Not, which unfortunately, based off of the, the last few demos that they've kind of shown, has been kind of disappointing. We'll see if they can come back from that. But as of yet, nobody has really been able to create a really solid SWAT versus terrorist style game with gameplay. Um, that can still be enjoyed in that way. Again, you've got Rainbow Six Siege, but unfortunately, Rainbow Six Siege, at least as it used to exist, doesn't exist anymore. Like, it's a completely different game now. So, Zero Hour might ironically be the only way to experience that kind of gameplay again. <laughs> Which, you know, it's a shame, but, you know, whatever. Um... So, that's one of the reasons I'm kind of excited about Zero Hour. Now, granted, you know, this is a small studio that's making this game. 
they don't have the kind of resources to compete with Rainbow Six Siege uh, or some of these other titles that maybe have way more polish and, and way more production value. But I think that if they get enough support, especially since they're a studio from Bangladesh, you know, that kind of financial support that they would get on Steam goes way further, way further uh, than it would for, you know, like a studio based in San Francisco. I have a feeling, I you know, I feel that I feel pretty confident that if these guys can get enough support, they can make a game that will compete uh, with with uh, with with larger studios and and previous titles um, that you know we used to love. Why can't I get past this trial? All right, here we go. Let's go. How many times do I have to shoot these guys? kidding me are you serious <laughs> oh man dude I am uh, I am really struggling here I don't know why I can't get through that <laughs> um, but this is a really solid entry. This is a really solid first start. Um, I think that this is something that's really amazing. Now, this is a cloud-hosted multiplayer game, so you're not going to have dedicated servers that you're going to be able to host yourself. I would say that's honestly the only thing that kind of worries me about this game. Games that are powered by Photon or other cloud-based things, you know, they kind of have a lifespan. Um, so, Raj, uh, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. Hopefully, you've got a long-term plan. Um, I'm not really sure how you're going to how you're going to handle those kind of prices um, in order to maintain the player base. Maybe there will be some form of like microtransaction or something, but just, you know, be careful in those waters because you don't want to end up tarnishing your game in the same way that I feel Rainbow Six Siege has been tarnished. You know, like if you're going to create a game like this, um, you definitely want to stick to these serious themes. You don't want to go down the, the crazy, kind of like flashy, colorful microtransaction route. Um, even games like Insurgency Sandstorm have been implementing uh, microtransactions in their games where you can have these big, colorful, you know, gun skins, and I think you can even have, like, hats and stuff now. I Look, th that's cool and all, and I understand the business, like, the business concept behind it, but it does kind of get in the way of the immersion. Uh, and, you know, a lot of these games, that's the number one selling point. It's about immersion. Um, so as long as you're able to continue supplying uh, everybody with a multiplayer shooter uh, that is able to deliver on those fronts and is not it, it doesn't have to compromise the uh, the artistic integrity of the game in order to pay those bills then I think you've got a winner on your hand damn trial failed again that's crazy um, so yeah that that's the number one concern the only number two concern that I think I would have is with cheaters um, obviously this game is in Unity. Uh, it's going to be using a cloud-based system. So you're, you, if you have cloud-based, um, if you have cloud-based multiplayer infrastructure, it's, you're not going to be able to have like administrators and the servers kind of like managing the community like we're able to have with our games. Uh, so it's going to be kind of like a different, it's going to be a, a different way to combat cheating entirely. So hopefully there's also going to be a good way to combat cheating, uh, in this game. But outside of those concerns, I don't know. I am, um, I am, I am really impressed. Uh, I've really, I'm really impressed with what you've been able to accomplish so far, and I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, where you can take this game in the future. Um, hopefully, as long as those issues are addressed, like I don't know, you've got something, 
you've got something really cool here. And I know that uh, M7 Productions has a couple of other projects that are really, really interesting. They have kind of like a Grand Theft Auto V um, project that's, that's based uh in bangladesh um which, which i think is really cool you know like the fact that they have their their development studio and they're creating games that that feature their own home country i think that's really cool it's really patriotic you know like a lot of other studios i mean they're not going to do that for you they're not going to make games that are going to be based on that they're always going to be based on i don't know new york or you know paris or like big you know big uh big headline yeah, cities um and I think that you have studios kind of taking matters into their own hands and saying, you know, hey, I want a game that represents me and represents my culture and represents my, you know, where I live. That's really, that's really cool. That's a really cool way to take this. Um, so we're going to be doing kind of like a single player match. Again, you know, this game isn't out yet, so I don't have any footage of like an actual proper match, but... Um, but I will hopefully here soon, and there is custom matchmaking, so I'm hoping that you know if cheating is an issue, what I'll be able to do is just kind of play with my buddies, who hopefully won't be cheaters. <laughs> All right, here we go. Locate and defuse the bomb. I really miss the original Rainbow Six Siege. I miss it a lot. Alright, well, that's it for today. Um, unfortunately, this is all that I can show. I would love to get a match here soon, and then we'll be able to show off some of uh, some in-game footage of us, you know, like, fighting one another. But I really wanted to show kind of like a first impressions of how this game looks, how it plays, and also give kind of like my two cents on everything. Um, but yeah, if you want to check this game out, it's on Steam. You can wishlist it. If you want to get a copy of it, you can check the description. I've got 100 keys to give away for Patreon backers uh, at $15 and more. If you want to support the channel, that really goes a long way. If you want to support our studio and the other games that we're developing, that goes a long way. And if you want to pick up this game on Steam, it also supports uh, Raj and his team. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, boys.